Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I'm here announcing a new project of sorts, kind of accumulation of what I've been doing on this channel since the very day I started. And I've been making suggestions and lists and, and guides to free game development tools. Now what I'm doing is basically just codifying all of that, putting it together in one place as a resource to you, my lovely viewer. And hopefully it is genuinely useful to you. Now what you're seeing is very, very, very much a work in progress. So some of the categories may come and go, some of the things Things may be tweaked a little bit, but here is basically the idea over on Dev Game, which is D E V G A dot M E. If you go to forward slash free, again, work in progress, so the only place you will find that link is here in this video uh, until at least it's a lot more mature in its state. Uh, you can go there, and what I will be covering is a series of topics on free game development resources. And that's not just related to um, game engines, but also tools and uh, resources, things like uh, sprites and textures and models and so on. And I'm just gonna gather them all together in one giant place so that you know if I need something for game development and I don't want to spend any money, this is the perfect place to start. And I know there are a bunch of these out there over various different topics. This one's just mine, frankly. I'm, I'm bringing together all of my knowledge and my experience, and I'm going to try and codify it in one handy place. And I've seen a lot of other lists out there along these lines, especially in Wikipedia. And I find, to be honest, a lot of times they're just not... They're not maintained, they're not winnowed down, so they're not really that useful in the long run a lot of the times. And other times, you know what, they, they can be absolutely great, but again, this list is mine. I can curate it, I can manage it, I can revisit it as time goes on, I can add things to it and remove things from it, and hopefully make it as useful as possible. Now right now, again, this is very much a work in progress, and a lot of this is actually based on videos I've already done. And a lot of it will continue to be, you know, like it, it, just because I covered it in the past doesn't mean that it isn't still relevant. And this is just kind of me restructuring a lot of the stuff I covered and putting it together. Um, so what we've got right now, this one is heavily work in progress. We'll get to it in a second. But you see here, we've got the 2D graphics resource. And this is not any even close to done, but this is a start. And it gives you an idea of what we're doing. And this is based off the video I did a while back called Free Game Kits. And that's kind of the, the data to start with. So what we've got is places you can go out there and download full game kits, be it a level with characters and sprites, etc. And then also some resources for finding more of the same kind of stuff. That gives you an idea of the kind of things I'm going to cover here. But of course, I'm going to be adding more and more and more and more as I find it. And I will hopefully be doing one video per topic. And now a uh, question to you is, would you like me to revisit this? So I'm going to be updating this list constantly, but a video is permanent. I can't easily add content or remove content from a video. So since I'm going to be maintaining this database of sorts for all time, uh, would you like me to do an annual edition. So would you like to see 2D graphics applications 2018 and then 2019 and then you know 2020 and, and I'll just kind of revisit it, prune off the things that are out of date, add the new stuff and basically do a new video on each topic on an annual basis or is it a year or two out of date just fine with you? Let me know in the comments down below what you think there. Also, please let me know what you think about these categories, uh, except for change this one, sound and music, drop the word tools. That was actually for sound and music resources, so places where you can download sound effects, folly effects, background music, that kind of stuff. Again, the common theme here is free. Now where that gets a little ambiguous is when we get into game engines. And 3D game engines is the area I am actively writing about right now. So this is not done. It's not complete. It's already useful, I think, but it is not fully completed. And a lot of this was actually based off, if you follow the channel, I recently did a video on C++, C Sharp, uh, JavaScript, Lua, uh, so on various different programming languages. I did a game engine rundown for each programming language. Well, that's actually where I'm extrapolating most of the data for this. And then I'm just pruning off anything that wasn't free. Now, where it is relevant, though, is you've got here, we'll, we'll look at two C++ game engines. And that's what I'm doing. I'm breaking these down into by primary programming language you write your game logic in, just because it needs to be organized in some manner. Um, so what we've got here is under C++ game engines, you'll notice the Banshee engine here has this icon to the right of it, whereas CryEngine is on here and has this icon to the right of it. Well, the reason behind that is CryEngine is free to you to get started with. Until you hit a certain revenue point, there's no cost attached. And so technically it is free, but in the long run, it is not free. Now this also applies to the likes of Unity, uh, Unreal Engine. Now I, I am for the 
grouping of this logic or this, this database of sorts, I am including those as free, but I'm marking them accordingly. Now, at the same time, you've got things like Banshee Engine, which is free as in no cost involved and open source. So in that particular case, I am marking it as an open source project. Uh, and in some cases, very, very rarely, you might get marked with both. And actually, Banshee Engine may actually be a good example of that because there is actually a commercial license alongside the LGPL license for it. Um, and in that case, I will mark them as relevant. So you can see this is all about free as in money, but I also want to make a point of marking free as in Libra type projects out there. So that's why I am breaking it down this way. Now, this is an area I am actively working on. This is my first focus to finish in this guide so that there is a one-shot place for uh, 3D game engines that are completely free. So you can just come in and look. What you'll notice, uh, there's a lot of space still in here to fix or to fit in and I'm going to be filling this in as as time goes on now each one has a bit of a blurb that goes with it a, a just a paragraph description of the engine to either pique your interest or perhaps push you away from that engine and then at the same time whenever it is relevant so as I mentioned this one is based off a series of videos I already did I will be linking to those videos as well now going forward what my intention is is for each category as I do it so I'm going to do a summary of of 2D graphics applications free that are out there. So obviously we're going to be talking things like um, Krita, um, Paint.net, uh, you know, on and on, GIMP, and so on and so forth, Ink Space, you name it. We're going to bring them all together into that category. And we're also going to see some duplication. So I'm actually with the new grease pencil improvements, for example, I might throw Blender in there as well. But Blender would obviously be under the 3D application category as well. I'm also going to be doing that when it comes to game engines. So a Unity game engine is a 2D game engine, or a Godot is a 2D game engine, and a 3D game engine. For simplicity's sake, I'll just list it in both lists. So that's why you're seeing some duplication there. Uh, but this is my intended group of categories as I do the list. So as I publish it up to dev game in its reasonably complete form, I will do a video on that topic, typical to the kind of videos I've always been doing. And then I will link back to the particular page here on dev game. So the two should grow together. You will see all kinds of videos about all of these topics coming forward on the channel. And of course, I would love to hear your recommendations as well. So and when each one of those videos is done, I will then publish the link to the list and then eventually I will make this available off the dev game homepage. So you've got this great resource database of, you know, free stuff to get you started in the world of game development. And this is my intended list of categories to start with. We got 2D graphics applications, 3D graphics applications, 2D and 3D game engines, 2D graphics resources. That's things like uh, sprites and... Um, uh, environmental backgrounds, that kind of stuff. Whereas we got 3D graphics resources, that's things like models, so that's what's right there for now. But it's also going to include things like textures, HDRI, or uh, environmental maps anyways. Uh, so that will be populated in that area and will continue to grow. And then I'm going to look at animation tools, um, audio tools, game frameworks, game libraries. Now the difference between a game framework and, and this gets iffy and it's somewhat arbitrary, but bear with me. I'm classifying as game frameworks, things like uh, Cocos 2DX, uh, LibGDX, uh, SFML, you know, so those things that are kind of close to game engines, but often don't have an editor environment or uh, maybe a little bit more code focused and less tool based, things like mono game, et cetera. Those are all game frameworks. Now game library, is kind of a piece that a game framework is potentially built out of. So think a little bit more dedicated in its purpose. Things that will be in the game library section would be stuff like uh, an audio library or um, box 2D physics library, that kind of stuff. So that's what those the difference between game frameworks, game libraries, and game engines are, at least as far as this categorization goes. Next up, we're going to have IDEs. So this is code editing environments. I've actually done a video on this. So I'll probably revisit it, refactor that content in, and look at what the newest options out there. And this is another area where it gets a little blurry uh, between IDEs, uh, programming languages, and text editors. Uh, those three can kind of blur together, so I might be juggling the categories around there. Uh, but those are definitely things I intend to cover. And then the miscellaneous game tools is basically where everything that I mentioned here does not fit will go. And I will be rechanging sound and music tools to literally just be sound and music because we've already got an audio tools category, and that is where I will be putting things like, say, um, uh, all the various different sound effect tools I've already covered on the channel, uh, FL Studio. If you, basically, if there's a free version available, it's still relevant, it will go on that list. And again, for each one of those, I will do a corresponding video. 
So that is what I am working on. This is dev game forward slash free. Hopefully this becomes an incredibly useful tool. Your feedback will help shape it. I'll also make sure that I eventually turn commenting on here so you can make suggestions under each category. Now, the cool thing is if I do do this on an annual basis, even if I miss something, I can get it in the next video. And in the meantime, if you do watch a video, you click on the link to learn more about all the options in the video. You can say, hey, there's three or four of them here that I didn't see in the video. And that's kind of how I could keep things lively and fresh. So uh, your feedback is of course appreciate it please let me know in the comments down below on youtube down below that is uh what topics you'd like to see covered if you're seeing something missing here and of course any of your suggestions on this also let me know once again if you do like the idea of me revisiting each topic on an annual or biannual basis or just do it as a one and done your feedback there of course is going to shape how this turns out so hopefully this sounds interesting to all of you. Um, it's going to be kind of a bit of work, but I'm already doing this work generally on a, you know, when I do these videos on these topics in the first place, this is just basically forcing structure on me and making it easier for the likes of you all to find it. So hopefully this is a good idea. Hopefully you do like the idea. If so, please, of course, do let me know. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.